right, everyone, today we are showing you a big project. We're showing you how we took this magnificent mess of a mudroom and turned it into this fantastically beautiful storage area. Let's show you how we do it. This is a DIY project for the ages. We started out by cutting shiplap. We wanted to mirror our fireplace accent wall. A couple months ago, we put up a shiplap wall around our fireplace and it was beautiful. You can see these spaces at the same time, so we wanted them to mirror each other. We started by cutting down all of the shiplap and then got ready to attach it to the wall. To do that, the first thing we had to do was remove the old baseboards and quarter round. We had to cut the baseboards on the side as well, and we removed the crown molding from up top. Then it was as simple as nailing in these shiplap boards. These are super easy to do. They're tongue and groove. They sit right on each other. We made sure they were level at the beginning, and then it all just kind of came together all the way up the wall. As you can see, we worked around our previous existing storage for a while because we couldn't lose all those jacket hooks in the winter. Once all the shiplap was nailed in place, it was time to paint. We used a paint sprayer to paint all the shiplap boards. We learned this the hard way when we hand rolled everything on the shiplap wall around the fireplace. You can actually see that off to the left of the video there. Check it out. I told you you could see these spaces together. The painting process was easy, and then it was time to start building the actual mudroom lockers. We started by making all the cuts. This entire mudroom was made with 3 quarter inch plywood and we drilled a lot of pocket holes. Yeah, this process took forever, but thanks to our Craig 720 Pro Jig, it did make it really easy to actually drill the holes. Once we had all the holes drilled, all the pieces cut, we sanded everything and started assembling. We started by assembling the shoe cubbies. We used wood glue and pocket hole screws to keep these together. We started there, that's gonna go under the bench, and then we started lining everything up. All three of the storage cubby areas are going to be lined up and we had to make sure that they were all perfectly centered and squared from the beginning. You can cover this up a little bit with trim later, but really you want it to be up and down and have everything have the exact same space. The last thing to assemble was the mudroom locker dividers. This was boards that went up to our smaller storage cubbies. These are going to form the four sections for each of us to store our coats and hang down whatever we need. All right, we got the spray painting gun back out and started painting all the pieces. We decided to paint all of the cubbies and boards down here in the garage before installing. There's pros and cons to this. One pro is that you get everything mostly painted here and it's easier to do with the spray painting gun. However, it does mean you're still gonna have to go back and touch up things later, so you're gonna have to get paint back out. Luckily, this did take up most of the work down here. While all of the painted things were drying, we got to work on the bench seat. We went to Florin Decor and we got some butcher block countertop. We've used this before in both our pantry and our half bath pedestal sink vanity. We really like this. We got this to match so that everything would look cohesive. These are massive slabs. We cut it down to be the bench size that we needed and then we sanded it all and coated it with walrus oil. This brings out all of the color and will help keep it protected. Plus, we can oil it again in the future and make it look nice again. Once the bench was done and all the paint was dry, it was time to start installation. We started by dropping in the shoe cubbies and then we started moving in the bench. My son really liked to help and he helped a lot with this part. And you can see how excited he was when we got that bench in. No problems! Yay! <laughs> This was a great project to let our toddler help. He's only three, but he really likes to be involved in the process. We got him some tools of his own, and he likes to act like he's carrying things and help supervise. It's great to have a little helper and let him help with us. We put that bench in and then we started to build the rest of the assembly. We put boards against each of the walls. This is going to anchor everything in so that everything has a stable place to be. You can see my son was messing with his earphones, but he was all good. We slid in the locker dividers and then the upper storage cubbies. Everything is super tight, tight, tight. We have woodworking plans available for this and you will see all the measurements, but it is all tight. 
Rounding out the installation was the hardwood trim. We didn't want that plywood edge showing, so we cut some strips and nailed them in. All right, these mudroom lockers were sponsored by National Hardware. Our friends at National Hardware make beautiful decorative hardware options and functional hardware options, both for indoors and outdoor projects. Today we are using their modern double rope hooks. We previously used the black version on an entryway shelf that we had in this room before. Now we are going to use their brass ones to match some of our other hardware. These are going to look great with this blue color. Let's show you how simple it is to install these and then we can hang up all of our jackets and be done with this project. Installation of the rope hooks really was super easy. The hardest part was making sure we found the exact center at each locker to hang the hooks on and we want to make sure they were all at the exact height drop down from the cubby above. It's really simple, they just have two screws, you drill a pilot hole and screw them right in. They're sturdy and stable and they look so elegant and nice. We love how these turn out and this gold hardware matches a lot of the other stuff in our house. So check out how it all came together. We love this mudroom locker storage. We got places for shoes, places for jackets, places for all sorts of things. There's so much storage here and this just looks so nice compared to the mismatch we had before. If this looks like something you want in your home, check out charlestoncrafted.com and you can get the plans to build it yourself.